friends. We are ready to get to the sewing in of the signatures. And again, I went ahead and did some cutting and, and prep prior to getting on camera. So I didn't bore you to tears. What I first did was I cut a piece of just cereal box, um, the thicker stuff, chipboard, whatever. And I cut it, whoops, a bit smaller in height than the actual spine of the book, as well as smaller than the width of the book because it will need to fit in there. Um, I tend to bring it down, hmm, what did I do with my ruler? Maybe about, yeah, I'd say about an eighth of an inch from the top and the bottom of the, the spine. So I cut one of those pieces to make the actual piece to sew the signature into. And then I cut another one that we will use to, um, as a template. And I tend to keep my templates because you know, if you don't have to keep recreating the wheel, why do it? So then after I had that, I glued it onto another piece of the coffee dyed muslin, the same muslin that I used on the book cover itself. And then I also cut another piece of Tyvek to give the, um, I guess just more strength to the cover again, um, because you want it strong so it doesn't give out on you. This is the actual side that the signatures will be sewn up against. This is the part that goes against the spine of the book. So when it's in there, it will be like that. So I hope that makes sense. Now as it's lying here, you can see that I cut these edges that way, and that is so that as you're gluing it down, especially a cotton fabric like a muslin, can tend to stretch a little bit. This way it keeps it nice and tidy underneath the end paper. So I did that already on one end, and you'll notice I also curved the Tyvek piece that way. I cut this at an angle this way, on either side and now we're going to cut at an angle on this side. And then I keep these so I can stamp words and other flowers and things like that. Making good use of our supplies as we always do. Okay, so now what we need to do is to glue this, each of these ends down. So let's do that first. Whoa. All right. Sorry for the shadows. I tried moving my camera in hopes that I would alleviate that, but that didn't work out at all. So I'm still working on lighting and trying to make that a little better for you. Tuck this on here. Okay, my trusty card. All right, wonderful. Let's do it on the other side. So this way with this construction, we should have a nice, sturdy book cover. String stuck to the pin. And I think me. Okay, so there we've got that. Let me 
clean off my card. All right, so now, where's, I need my binder clips. I need, <laughs> this is what I use. It's not an awl. It's actually one of the, a glasses screwdriver. Um, it just works for me. And then I have this template. And here's my, my pokey book. Now this, where's my pencil? I'm gonna mark as the top so that it's all consistent and this is the bottom. Ugh. I've got glue everywhere. It's typical for me though. wondering if I'm better off. Sometimes I'm... <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it that way. Where's my... Um... Hold on, I'm going to get my scoreboard. I don't always do this this way, but I'm going to this time. I'm just going to score my lines here. I already pre-measured where I want my holes to be. Um, so there's five different signatures in the book, and I evenly space them. I'm going to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch. Could do a five. It's just what I was feeling for this book. No other reasoning beyond that. I'm just doing this to give it some bend as I'm working with the signatures. Oops, typical me, crooked. All right, Lisa, come on. These kind of slick stocks, don't I have a hard time with them? My goodness. What is the deal? All right, that's good for now. That just helps me out a little bit. So then I can do this, and you'll see in a minute why that's helpful. Sticking down as well as I would like right here. pretty well. Okay. Put my trusty cup there so that actually I'm going to turn it around. Do this so that I can work on this this way. Perfect. And I'm sorry for the awkward angle that probably doesn't let you see as well as you'd like, but I'm taking this flap here and I'm holding it up and I'm putting the glue on the inner part of that flap as far out to the edges as I can get because we want that to adhere down very, very, very well. I must be talking. Okay, stick that down. 
And now again, I'm just going to tip this back a bit. I'm going to pull that in there. Glue it down well. Puckers. Not tolerating it. This side. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm going to leave this like this for a little bit. And then we can, maybe what we can do, let's do this. So you don't have to wait on me. What I did here is I took that metal piece and I ended up keeping the, the loops. I just took the jump rings off the end and I ended up leaving the loops. So not only did I glue it to the doily, but then I stitched it on as well. So that way I know that little guy isn't going anywhere. And then I took a piece of the paper from the lace part of the kit um, actually, I cut it off one of the envelope, one of the envelope templates that came with the kit. And then I glued on a butterfly in there as well. And I love how that turned out. Um, so I, I, this book lays so nice without having a, a closure on it. And there still is room. So I don't think think I'm going to put a closure on it. I kind of like the clean, simplistic look of it. So I am just going to leave that. But what we have to do next, let me get my needle out of the way here before I lose it. What I want to do next is to glue the doily and this piece on. We'll do that. And then when I come back, We'll do a final flip through of this journal. And then we will do the soft cover book. But what I need to do first with that one is the fabric that I chose, I want a coffee dye. So it's just a little too light for, for Jane Austen, so. I'm going to do that. All right, here go the dogs. They hear daddy bark, or daddy barking. <laughs> they hear daddy talking on the phone outside. He's out there without him. And that's, I guess dogs, that's a sad ordeal. And I guess it would be for mine too. They do love to be with us. In fact, I've been kind of obsessed about doing this. I need to feed my girls. They're not going to like me anymore. But be nice and patient with me right now while I'm doing this, but it'll only last so long. Okay, we'll 
let's get this guy on there. Oh, there we go. Now, how am I going to pick this up without making a mess of myself? <laughs> There's the million dollar question. Okay. Oh, gosh, I love this. Another journal that's going to be hard to give up. I'll tell you that. sure all of this has a chance to show its glory make sure that's down well and let her dry so we're gonna let this dry and come into its own I can already oh my goodness I love this look at how nice that turned out so that the journal then oh I'm not gonna show you right now but I'm when, when it's open, it will lie nice and flat. Ooh, I love it. Okay, thank you for joining me. And I hope again that this was helpful to show you how to show um, sew signatures on the inside of a curved spine. And we'll be back to do a complete th flip through of the hardcover Jane Austen journal. I hope you have a great day.